Hey guys, I'm going to talk about combination with repetition in this video. And combination with repetition is the number of ways of rearranging our objects from an object with repetition where the order, order doesn't matter. So it's the same thing as combinations except that we can have the same um, object again and again. And the formula for that is... Let me pick another color. And the formula is n plus r minus 1 choose r. And if you simplify this, it's going to become n plus r minus 1 factorial divided by r factorial times n plus r minus 1 um, minus r factorial which can which will give us n plus r minus 1 factorial divided by r factorial and minus 1 factorial here the two r's cancel out and this is our formula for it and here's a quick example so if you can choose a hot dog and a drink without repetition you can have a hot dog and a drink so once you pick a hot dog you cannot pick it again or you can pick a drink and a hot dog but this is combination so the order doesn't matter so these are considered as one way however with repetition you can have a hot dog and a hot dog a hot dog and a drink a drink and a hot dog and a drink and a drink and since those two count as one then we have three ways here, those two count as one. And if you do this by the formula, here you have um, two choose two, which will give you um, two factorial over two factorial times two minus two factorial, and that's just one. So, on the other hand, here you have. Um, you have to choose, you have n is equal to 2 and r is equal to 2. So n is 2 and r is 2. So here it's n plus r minus 1, choose r. And that will give you 2 plus 2 minus 1, choose 2. And that is the same as 3 choose 2 and that is equal to 3. Alright, so let's take a look at some examples. So here we have a girl tosses a coin and gets four heads and six tails. And how many ways can these tosses result in? So uh, before we get started, um, let me just say what a run is. So a run, because we're going to need it here for the example. So a run is if you have heads and tails, then heads, then tails. Every time it changes from heads to tails or tails to heads, that's uh, that signifies a run. So this is one run. This is another run. This is another run, and this is another run. So here in this example, we have four runs. So in how many ways? Um, can these tosses result in exactly two runs of heads and one of tails? Now since we need two of heads, then we must start with heads. Because the only way we can have two uh, runs of heads is if we have heads and then tails and then heads. If we have tails, heads, heads, this is still one run. Because it didn't change from heads to tails. So the only case we have to consider is this. And the way you solve this is you represent them in x's. So you have four heads and six tails. So let's just write it down. Heads is equal to four and tails is equal to six. And we want to find out heads, tails, heads. So give uh, the first run x1. So this will be x1. 
the second run will be x2. Here it is x2. And the third run will be x3. And this, that's the sum of all the outcomes. So you're going to have x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 10. And 10 is 4 plus 6 here. Where x1, x2, and x3 are greater than or equal to um, 0. Okay, so now you want to split the uh, um, even x's and the odd x's. So you'll have x1 plus x3, and remember that these represented the heads, so x1 and x3 are heads. And that is equal to 4. And then you have the tails, x2 is the only one left, and that is equal to 6. And remember, here you have x1 and x2, uh, sorry, x3 is greater than or equal to 0. And here x2 is greater than or equal to 0. Alright, so we want to get rid of the greater than or equal to. We want to make it just greater than. So you subtract 1 from each of the variables. Remember, only do this when there is more than 1. So in x2 here, we, are, we won't use it. But for x1 and x3, there are more than one variable. So you subtract 1 from each. So you have x1 plus x3 is equal to 4. Now you subtract 1 from the left hand side and 1 from the left hand side. So one for x1, another one for x3. Then you're going to have to subtract 1 on the right hand side as well. So minus 1 and minus 1. And we can represent them by y's. So um, let's have y1 plus y3 is equal to 2. And yi is equal to xi minus 1. So all you're just doing is subtracting 1 and replacing it by y. And yi is greater than 0. So it's no, it's no longer greater than or equal to 0. So once you've done that, you're going to have x2 is equal to 6 left. So when you combine whatever you have here into the formula, you're going to have n is the number of variables, r is the result. So you'll have n plus r minus 1, choose r. And that will be equal to, so let me just label n is the number of variables and r is the result. So you have 2, uh, y1 and y3, so that's 2 for n. So 2, then the result is 2, so plus 2, minus 1, choose r, which is the result, 2. And that will give you um, 3, choose 2. That will give you three ways. So three ways of having three runs of heads. Alright, I'll continue the example in the next video. And I hope this made some sense for now.